Oh, well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I just thought I'd have some fun, though, with the music. I absolutely love the way that you can kind of just mess around with epidemic sound. So um, uh, there's some lovely things here. Uh, what do we got? We got we got lovely Spiff drinking some tea. That's great. We got the um, Crab Rave up at the top, a uh, personal favourite of mine. Uh, it's a very low-quality gift, but I love it. Thank you, Crab Rave, for being here today. Lovely to have you here, Mr. Crab Rave. Um, Hello there. Welcome, everyone. I hope you're having a fun time. So, uh, yeah, I, I have a question to ask. We have two opportunities here, ladies and gentlemen. We can continue the game of RimWorld, which we were playing last time. The Great East India Trading Company uh, settled their first colony of Australia, and they were just basically killing off loads of their members whilst imprisoning people, forcing them to grow tea, that kind of thing. Now, we can do that save. Or alternatively, we can start a new save. Um, and basically in this new save, I'll be running one extra mod. And that one extra mod is the Zombie Apocalypse mod. Now, the Zombie Apocalypse mod is basically going to, I wouldn't say destroy the game, but it's going to add a slight extra layer of difficulty to our tea growing expeditions, considering, I mean... Tea doesn't cure zombification. Uh, if someone gets bit, no matter how good they are at tea harvesting, they've got to go. So, um, yeah, the choice is yours. I'm going to make a straw poll, drop it in the chat, and um, then play a song, and you guys can vote on it whilst I'm doing that. So let me just make a straw poll. Very high profession, you know. Um, just give me, like, I don't know, seven hours to make a straw poll. Uh, what Question, new save or not? Yay for new save, nay for memes. And there we go, that's the poll, and we're not going to allow multiple poll answers. Perfecto. Okay, I'll drop this in the chat now. All right, so go and vote on this. Uh, it shouldn't take you too long. And uh, then job done. Right, I'll play a song, and uh, see you guys in a second. Oh, which song should we go for? <gasps> Choirs of War, that sounds good. Oh, God, no, that's bad. A hero will know? No, that's bad. Walk of a Legend? No. Over the Summit? But some of these are pretty bad. I think this one's okay. Yeah, this one's fine. Right, see you guys in a bit. Right, I'm going to say that uh, I don't even need all the time to uh, cast a verdict on this one. It would appear all of you have successfully voted. Well, not all of you, but um, about 78% of people voted for a new save. Now, we could dive straight into the new save, or alternatively, we could destroy the old one first. <laughs> so I'm going to... I think it, it's only really fair that we do just also destroy the previous old save. Is it, is it worthwhile? Maybe not. Maybe we should destroy the old save. Um, yeah, apparently people want it to be destroyed. That's fine. Okay, I'll try and load up the game. Even though I have the new mod installed. Uh, God, hopefully the game won't crash. Um, <laughs> destroy the save. Cool. Okay, we'll destroy it then. Yeah, the East Rim World Trading Company. Let's load this bad boy up. Mods mismatch. It's okay. Load anyway. Don't worry. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be fine. 30 seconds, Biff, please. 10 seconds is too little. It's okay, don't worry, I'm sure the chat will calm down after half an hour and a load of tea sedation. It's okay, Minty. <laughs> Maybe. There we go. All right, we're in the game. Um, I'll just give you the screen. Well, bam, there you go. It's our live screen. Oh, it's so good. Oh, bugger. 
beans it up already. Right, there we go. Let's increase the volume a bit of RimWorld so you guys can actually hear what I hear. There we go. So um, this is our lovely colony. We, of course, have Stat Dog, Mr. Cliff Griff, the entrepreneur. We have uh, Dubheed, our gardener, who we remove the... Um, we removed his reproductive organs, as you do. There's Dragon Joe, there's of course Chase, there's Dapper. Um, we have the Muffalo, the Muffalo of Akona, our legendary donator, as you can see, top donator. Uh, Jesse Smith also made it in, Alchemy made it in, Carlos the Cum. Uh, and then we have Lazy Rider, uh, Savina, Rare Night King, and A. Lambert, and Generic all made it into this wonderful game and had a wonderful time growing tea. But now I need to open up my dev console. <laughs> you want to be the new cannon fodder? Well, don't worry. We've got a we've got a lot of cannon fodder, so don't you worry. All right. So what do I want to do? Not destroy all things. That would be a bad idea. I want to summon a thing. Where is it? Ba -ba -da -da -da. It's somewhere around. I think it's the next tab along, isn't it? To force a invasion somewhere. Bum, bum, bum. No, it's not in here. Come on, where are you? God, it must have been in the first one. I'm... Oh, no, instant. Here we are. Um, no, that's more diplomacy incidents. Not what I was looking for. Right. As far as it would be just to summon, I don't know, a super, super firestorm. Oh, we can force someone to give birth. That's uh, not a good idea. Force resurrect people. <laughs> a random spot just outside colony. Kill 5,000 damage, 5,000 flame damage, just loads of explosions and bomb. Wait, plus heat 10,000. I'm interested by this. Yes, please allow me to do this. Can I just superheat the air inside the prisoners' quarters? Oh, I mean, I want to see what happens here. Oh, please tell me we can just burn people alive. I mean, you know, it's perfectly fine. Okay, we'll just hit play. And then, yep, everyone's on fire. <laughs> well, it's a shame the colony had to end this way, but um, it just just feels kind of right. And whilst we're at it, we also want some explosions, don't we? Bit of interest for Her Majesty the Queen. I'm glad. All right, bam. We'll um. Oh, there we go. Debug log has kicked in. Dragon Joe sadly died. Dibheed has died, the devlog is not happy. Maybe we can add in... Oh, where is it? Bum, 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 bum. Destroy, no. Add snow. No. Explosion, bomb, there we go. Sorry, Colony. I'm not saying that I am playing God, but I am kind of playing God right now. There goes another one. Oh, and it's time to say hello to the prisoners who are melting alive. Who's the last one alive? Chase is doing quite well, so is Mark. Let's just finish off. Lambert has taken an explosion to the body. Lambert, how are you alive? Biologically, no, health speaking. Your kidneys and legs have been removed, but hey, you're still alive. Good on you. All right, where's that explosion? Explosion, bomb, there we go. Bam, and bam. Where's Chase? I oh, here's Chase. And there we go, there's Chase. Oh, and who's left? Who's this person? Is this someone escaping? Oh, we had a random man in black joined. And he's dead. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the previous colony dealt with. Um, now we can move on to the new one. <laughs> oh, right, quick back to the main menu. Lovely stuff. So now we do new colony. Oh, and we should also probably get that smooth jazz going, because otherwise it's not a true Smith and Brit rim world. Um, so let's get some... There we go. Just a nice bit of smooth jazz going in the background. F for the old colony. And Ave for the new one. So of course we want to start with that standard crash-landed start, but of course we're just going to twist it. So we have a few options here. We can go for Cassandra Classic, or we're just going to go for Savage Randy Random. <sighs> Actually, I prefer medium Randy Random because Savage Randy Random, he's just going to kill you. Like, there's nothing you can do. The guy just wants to beat you over the head with a shovel. So, um, yeah, we'll go for that. And we'll go for Reload any time because, you know, it's a stream. We don't want to die. Uh, seed? Oh, we can randomize that a bit. Actually, no. No, we can just call it T. 
The tea seed. Nice. Oh, well, bam. We're in. Generating. Such a good place to suddenly start watching. I know. Thank you for joining. Right as we're about to start a new game. Instantly, we've had a £20 donation from Arhaz. Rimworld for the win. I've dreamed of being the new saves drugged up slave, of course. Yeah, Zombies Faction is kind of like the Boston Tea Party. Now we need to kind of set um, the, the zombie setting. So, when do zombies appear? I like when it's dark. That means we get zombies effectively every day. Where do zombies come from? We, uh, map edges work rather than soft ground because then they can just turn up anywhere. Uh, we're going to have zombies attack all creatures, not just human likes. Actually, no, just human likes. Otherwise, they'll kill all the wildlife. What will zombies attack? Uh, well, what will they destroy? Doors. That's good. Um, zombie sense is normal. Zombie health. That seems good. Yeah. They'll slowly recover, but they do die quite easily. They eat injured creatures and corpses. Nice. Do I want suicide bomber zombies? Nope. No, I don't want any of those. They sound terrifying. Um, zombies per colonist. Ooh, 20 per colonist. So if we have two colonists, that's 40 zombies or whatever. That's fine. That's great. Never more than 500 zombies on the map. Excuse me, can I please reduce that to uh, 40? Actually, maybe um, just 100. 100 sounds good. Days until zombies come. Let's give ourselves two days. Um... Zombie speed if they're calm, there we go. If they're excited, we'll put them to one so that, you know, humans can run at the same speed and it's not terrifying. Zombie strength damage multiplier, they can be at normal. Blah, 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 blah. Risk that a zombie bite is infectious. 50-50, that sounds good. Time until infection is known. Oh, I want to crank that up. I want to make it so that we have to make really tough decisions because... At the 20 hour mark, that's when we know if someone is infected or not. That gives us four hours to act upon it. I like that. Duration of infection. Um, six days. Let's crank that down. Let's say four days. Um, and then custom protection and stuff. Blah, blah, blah. That's great. Lovely stuff. Perfecto. Now we need to choose where we're going to slap bam this colony down. I like playing in the forest. I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen. There's something nice about a forest. Spiffy, take a sip of your tea and enjoy your game. I still want to try your tea, lol. Mate, just grab some Yorkshire tea, it's great. Oh, who's that? Darth Mac and Cheese. Thank you, Darth Mac and Cheese, for becoming a member. I salute to you, and the Queen salutes as well. She's very proud of you, thank you. Um, I think maybe somewhere along this road looks good. I mean, it seems good for berries. Um, the temperatures aren't bad, they seem quite good. 2C to 29C, although it's not mountainous, that is an issue. So we're definitely going to want to um, put ourselves somewhere with mountains. That's a river. Come on, just give me somewhere with nice, meaty, large mountains, like here. That's a river, not a road. Bugger. I just want a road with a mountain. What's this? Small hills? I kind of want something bigger than that. Right, this mountainous, there we go. What, zombies aren't set to easy die. Oh, that's fine. Zombies should be fine. Um, we should survive, hopefully. I don't know how easy this is going to be. But yeah, we're going to slap down in this temperate forest. This seems good. And now we need to actually start making our our actual team who's going to come out here. Now we want more than just the regular people we have here. So, <clears throat> who's going to be our first colonist? Well, that's going to go to the legendary... <gasps> The wonderful, the fabulous Arhaz. So congratulations Arhaz, you're going to be in this game now. Arhaz, you're in. How are you going to look? We can randomise this a bit. You know what? That's great. You're going to be a noodle boy with a spike on your head. You're going to be able to fight people. Biological age, we're going to crank that down. <gasps> Greetings from Germany, I'm glad. And I'm glad you like RimWorld because it is the best game. What are your traits? Gourmand, so you love food. Physically hypersensitive, and you're a psychopath. You're going to do great here. Thanks for joining the crew, Arhaz. Uh, your skills? We're going to crank up your cooking. We're going to make you the god cook. Maybe not quite 20. I'm going to say 14. Then we want Kane. Of course, we do need someone to be a 100 stat man. Uh, where's that? So we want to load a character. Stat man. Well, bam. So there we go. Stat man's going to be in the game. Someone gets to choose stat man. They're the god character. Um... 
Last time we had Stat Dog, a physical dog took the human form of Stat Man. It's complicated, but you know, these things happen. Uh, then we have Bodum Freak. I think Bodum Freak. Oh, Bodum Freck. That's what we're going to have to manage. I'm sorry, Bodum Freak gameplay. $50 though through Super Chat. Good lord. Thank you very much. Yorian is a gardener. You're aesthetic and fast walker. You know what? I'm going to randomize that a bit. Medieval slave and medieval farm oaf. <gasps> oh, he's going to be the perfect tea farmer. I'm going to crank up that growing. Congratulations, Bowden Freak. You've been discovered as head gardener. I'm going to randomize your looks a bit. There you go. Oh, actually, I think we're going to go for burgundy. There you go. That looks, that's nice. Or oh, top dog. I like that. Maybe again. Messy. No. Okay, wavy. You're going to have nice wavy hair. I don't know who we got next. Da, da, da. I do love the jazz of when people subscribe. It's quite nice. And then we've got Risa here, who is a apprentice oracle and casket builder. Well, we're going to need a casket builder because not only do we have to bury the undead, we also kind of have to bury our own dead because when we do these games, good God, there's a lot of dead people. By God, there's a lot of dead people. Uh, so you're going to be depressive and neurotic. No, we can't have that. Can't have a depressed character. Undergrounder and careful shooter. You know what you're in. I'm going to baff up your shooting a bit and also make your general constructor. That seems good. And I guess we can give you a bit of medical. Yeah, we'll buff up your medical a bit. So who's going to be this lovely character? You prefer to drink soda, but you hate coffee. Soda tea alliance. I mean, honestly, you can drink water instead of soda. That's quite good. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, gorgeous sausage. Thank you, Project Sixum. You know what? You've done it. You've wooed my heart and you're in this game. Oh, you are absolutely perfect. So, Project Sixum, congratulations. You're going to take on the body of this wonderful casket builder. I might need to just call you Sixum. Six Am. There we go. Bam, you're in. And then, of course... Um, Judge Def just asked to be a character. Congratulations, Judge Def. We're going to give you the next one. So, Judge Def, what have you rolled? Because I haven't even checked yet. You're going to be Judge Def. Actually, no, no. We'll just shorten it to Def. So, it's Def without the A, which does technically cripple the word. Uh, but that's fine, you know. Uh, so, Judge Def is going to have a pyro... Oh, God, he's bloody pyromaniac. It's a hive world drone. <laughs> Oh, he's a pyromaniac. No. That's fine. You know what? We'll keep him. We'll keep him. Judge Def, you're going to be deaf to us all, but we might as well keep you. God, what are you going to do to us? Hey, you know what? We'll make you a woman as well. There you go, Judge Def. Oh, perfect. There you go. Nice flowy hair. Um, we're going to make you good at mining so that hopefully we can just put you in a pit in the ground and not have to worry about you. Um, because by God, you're going to set everything on fire. Now we've got Eric, who we need to rename. Who's going to take the wonderful Eric? Well, I think we should probably hand this to oh, the legendary Darman. Two streams back to back, Spiff. This is going to be good. Thanks, Darman. £39.51. Bloody heck, mate. That's going to be a huge amount for my PayPal. Thank you very much. So there you go, Darman. You're in. Darman, you're a story writing sheriff. <laughs> this is great. You're going to like yeehaw the world. I love it. And you're super immune. <gasps> That's brilliant. And you have a chemical fascination. So you love taking drugs, but the drugs have also given you an immunity to the drugs. I'm going to up your shooting so that we make you kind of like a mega, mega shooty fighty boy. There we go. Congratulations, Darman. You're in. And then we have Mao. Mao, actually, you know what? I want to randomize your look a bit as well. Oh, that's good. I know, Darwin, it's great. Thanks for that donation again. That is ludicrous amounts of money. 100 drug man. <gasps> Maybe we can give Statman chemical fascination. Okay, right. Bam. Chemical fascination and chemical interest, maybe? Is that possible? The game says no. <laughs> Fine. But chemical fascination it is. This means they really want to do drugs. Will I use my new second channel for anything? Um, maybe stream VODs, I guess I could put on there. That's probably a good idea. Maybe. That's somewhere to put them. Hmm. Probably a good idea. Yeah, I really probably should do that. Anyway, new character. Mao is 16 and a wealthy student. I feel like we want to up that age a bit. 
Yeah, we're going to crank them up to 18. And what do we want them to be? Scout and bartender? No. Pyromaniac, civil servant? God, I don't want another pyromaniac. Shelter child, bartender? Hello, sir. Spiff, would you like to join me on a crusade? <gasps> would I like to join you on a crusade? <gasps> If you agree. I love to join you on a crusade. I love crusades. Pay me in the finest of teas. I'd love that. I would love that. Um, oh, right, so I think Mouse should be a coma child explosives expert. That does increase their mind. They're, they're so useless, though. <laughs> What's the point of having good social in this game? Okay, randomized again. Medieval slave, good, and bartender. You know what? I'm going to randomize that a bit. We're going to have them be a... Um, bush sniper, caravaneer, cargo pilot, castaway, cave tender. Chemist? No, that's a bad idea. Clone farmer. Oh, what, what the heck is this? Oh, you harvest products from clone farms. Doesn't actually make you good at... Colosseum fighter. Jesus Christ, that's intense. Colonial governor. <gasps> that's an opportunity. Right, congratulations. Whoever this is gets to be the colonial governor of the colony. <laughs> We're going to really increase their social and animal skills. They're going to be a rootin' tootin' governor. Oh, I love that. First time capturing a live stream. Well, I'm glad to have you here, mate. Hope you have a lovely time watching. Okay, so you're going to be a medieval slave colonial governor, and we're going to make you a kind gay cannibal. You know what? This is everything I could have wanted in a character and more. Oh, who wants this wonderful character? Who'd love to be a colonial governor? Give me an application for your job. Why would you make a good colonial governor, but only in two words maximum? Two words. Actually, no, I'll give you three words. Three words as to why you should be a colonial governor. And not me. You actually have to have good reason. Because things, that's not a good reason. I suck. God, you know, that's how, that's exactly what I'm looking for in my colonial governors. I make tea. I like tea. <laughs> so I'm gay. That's great. That kind of works. Don't audio clip that. Don't take me out of context. I have a fiance. Please, God, don't tell her. Um, because I'm stupid. I eat people. Because I'm actually gay. Okay, so I've seen a lot of people saying I'm actually gay and some people who say I eat people. But I'm yet to stumble across someone who is gay and also eats people. I mean, then again, I've, I'm yet to actually stumble across anyone in the real world who does eat people. Oh. Will we test transplanting infected zombie organs? Ah, oh, has that's a brilliant idea. You're an entrepreneur after all, so that makes perfect sense. <laughs> oh... I'm very Aussie. Minty, you know what? You're right. Minty, you're in. I know it, some would say it's favouritism that I'm giving it to my, my moderator, but congratulations, Minty, the kind cannibal gay. He's, he's, so basically, you're a, fe you're a kind female cannibal who, like, you find your victims and you're like, hey, you know what? I'd like to eat your arm, but I really like you, even though we're both girls, you know? That's cool. It's fine. It's 2019. Whatever year it is on the rim. And uh, whilst you're at it, can I bite your leg off? And they're like, you know what? You've been so kind to me. Of course. Take my leg. Oh, if I come across any spices. There you go. Oh, and it looks like we've just got our 100 stat manners also. 100 stat manners just dropped by. Good lord. But there you go. Minty, welcome into the game. Um, and Statman, Bam. Statman is getting renamed to Rare Knight King because some bloke just dropped 79 quid. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. From oh. friends from Minnesota. Hello, Minnesota friends. Hello, Minnesotan friends. Rare Knight King. I think I'm going to have to put you in as Knight King. Um, so I don't... Knight King? Yeah, you know what? Knight King will do. So there you go. Knight King... You've, Rare Knight King, you've been given the, actually maybe Rare Knight would work. No, it won't. Too many characters. Rare King, but that isn't really your name. Oh, I'm hopefully going to play CK2 again soon. Thank you, Jesse Smith, for that very nice $10 donation. I'll put you in as one of the world characters. Uh, so, Knight King, congratulations, you're in the game. You are the physically best character possible. You have bionic limbs. You're a god, basically. Well done. 
Now onto the real world characters who have a chance of basically stumbling into our colony. Um, <laughs> kind female cannibals, kill them with kindness essentially. Uh, you know what, Vigard? I'm going to drop you in as a kind female. Um, are you kind? No, you're not. You're Gorman, very neurotic. Let's randomize this. I just want something that's kind. Um, okay, gay nudist. You know what, Vigard? If we stumble into a gay nudist, congratulations, we found you. You're a child spy and colonial settler. For God, I hope we wander into you. Next, we've got some guy called Noob, who's an alcohol addict. Uh, that's going to be going to um, Jesse Smith. Well done, Jesse Smith. Um, it's just going to have to be Jesse Smith, sadly, but congratulations, you're in. You once were a turtle herder, and then you became a space marine medic, so congratulations, Jesse Smith. We might run into you. Then we have a medical assistant sculptor who has an immense heartery blockage. <laughs> oh, okay, that's great. Uh, we can hand this to... Um... Oh, thank you again, Judge Def. Very nice of you. Um, we're going to be handling this one to Star Rider. Hello, Star Rider. Are you having a nice evening? Hello from Sweden. I am having a nice evening, hello, Star Rider. Are you having a nice evening? I say hello from Sweden. Oh, all the way from Sweden. There you go. You're in this game. And I am having a lovely evening. Thank you very much for everyone watching, by the way. And hey, if you are enjoying this wonderful RimWorld stream, you can give the stream a like. Mwah, it makes my day. It funds more coffee. Well, pff, no, it funds the destruction of coffee. Actually, God, I almost slipped up on my words there. Good Lord, I hate coffee. I actually do. It's a disgusting thing. It's bitter. It tastes like sand. And then you have tea, which is smooth. It's beautiful. You add a bit of milk. Mmm. So nice. Maybe if you have a bit of a sweet tooth that day, you add in a little bit of sugar and, ah, oh, majestic. So thank you very much, Star Rider, you're in. Next up, we have someone technically called Phil. Uh, they're a coma child torturer who's a psychopath masochist. Um, who should I give this to? Let's scroll back to someone a bit earlier. Um, we have good old... Um, Oh, someone donated Filipino money. I've no idea what Filipino money is. It's PHP. That's great. I love PHP. Uh, we have Mike Games. You know what, Mike? You're in. We've got Mike Games. Mike Games. A coma, coma child torturer. And then the next character is literally called Mark. What a strike of luck. Oh, wait, no. It, oh, that's Mike and this is Mark. Completely different. Spiff is just having a stroke. Ah. <sighs> Uh, MWF wanted a character named Wilfred, so we can actually do that. You're going to be somewhere in the world, Wilfred. Wilfred, you're a story writer, and you're only 19, so uh, we might never find you, but hey. Then there's Clover. That's great, Clover. Who wants to be Clover? I mean, give Clover to... You know what, let's give Clover to someone in chat. If you're feeling spicy and you want to like the stream and take a character, give me a shout as to why you would make a great, physically deaf, optimistic, kind, uh, deep space miner. Um, <laughs> we got, who's this? Bethany Harris. Okay, fine. Bethany Harris, you're in. We're going to have Bethany Harris. Bethany Ha, it is. That's fine. Let's randomize this a bit. Um, probably should give you a female body, shouldn't we? And we'll go for, <sighs> there we go. Actually, no, let's just randomize this a bit and stop. And then we'll also set your, oh wait, I was going to change skin color. How do you change skin color again? I know there's a way in this game. Where is it? Ba -ba -da -da -da. Body type, is it? What does this slider do? Oh no, this is just um Oh my god, you can make someone the whitest the whitest thing physically imaginable. What this slider is useless. They're just they're just A4 sheet paper white. That's fine. You know what? We'll roll with that. Congratulations, Scout Deep Space Miner. And then we've got Phasix, a zombie executioner, apparently. Okay, I'm sure we can put you in. Um, so, P-H-A-S-E-I-X. You want to be a zombie executioner. Apparently you're a coma child charity worker, but I'm going to change charity worker to uh, executioner. I'm pretty sure it is on here somewhere. Executive officer. Um, you know what? Executive officer... Probably around about the same thing. Congratulations, you're in. And then last character. God, I, I'm going to randomize this entire thing because that was that was terrible. Oh, actually, no. This is perfect. Um, this person has alcohol addiction. 
and our music idol and prostitute idol. Right, who wants to claim the um, prostitute idol? <laughs> oh god, you have to be an alcohol addict. A beautiful super immune. Oh. Oh, Darth Mac and Cheese. How is the best cup of tea prepared? Do you add cream and sugar? No, I don't add cream. I add milk, semi-skimmed. Oh, Dr. Skeletor. What tea do I drink? I drink um, Yorkshire Tea English breakfast tea. It is majestic. It is honestly wonderful. But Darth Mac and Cheese, I'm glad that you love the new Patreon update. I went from basically having it be a regular Patreon to then going, you know what? I want this to be a peasanty medieval themed. And I love it. I, it's done wonders. Um, but there you go. Who are we going to lob into here? We can add Darth Mac and Cheese, I guess. Yeah, I think we should probably... Let's add Darth Mac and Cheese. You're going to make a great... Um, Darth Mac and Ches. Darth Mac and Cheese. There we go. Congratulations, you're a prostitute. But I'm sure it is just as good as tea from Yorkshire. And then we're going to add in another person who is literally a trash character who is addicted to drugs and we're gonna give them to Dr. Skeletor who wanted an artsy person uh, so you know what you've kind of got it you're gonna be Dr. Skeletor though I'm gonna crank up your artistic stats so if we ever wonder you wander into you in the world bam you're in oh right you know what I think that's it I think that's great there's gonna be loads of other people in the world we're gonna stumble into but for a starting colony this seems good any random relationships there are a few, I guess. Now we just need to give ourselves some guns so that we can survive. So I'm thinking a few assault rifles sound good. And then, oh, the bowlers are great because they allow us to capture people. Um, and then we're going to want a large quantity of Twinkies, aka survival meals. Otherwise, we will literally just die um, because we won't have food for quite a while. And we are trying to keep seven colonists alive. So there we go, 200 meals. Let's get in a few more components than that. Honestly, the armor is useless against zombies, so we'll get rid of all of that. We have a female husky, apparently. That's cool. Someone can be a dog. Actually, you know what? Let's have two of them. And I want to make sure I have a ton of wood as well. Good lord. Rare Night King donated. Good lord. Rubbing off stickers. <laughs> why are you so sticky? Oh, God. Oh, well. Thank you very much, Rare Night Gaming. Jesus Christ, that's a huge amount of money. Thank you very much. Myself, I'm going to have to tell my fiancé about that. She's going to love that. I'm going to be able to go for afternoon tea with that. That's incredible. Thank you very much for your super generous donation. And Rare Night King, it, well, Night King it is. And I hope you enjoy rubbing it off at work. Um, <laughs> it's, no questions asked. Just enjoy your, enjoy your job of rubbing. Oh, God, I have the bomb selected. There we go. Let's go to that. Right, perfect. We're in the world. What is our world? Oh, I like this. Look at this horrific cave system we have. Oh, that is beautiful and disgusting. Oh, doesn't that just say massive death trap? I love that. Oh, that is brilliant. And there's a nice little house up there. I mean, we could build here. There's a ton of muffalo here. Oh, that's brilliant. I love the muffalo. Muffalos are great. Um... But I guess this looks like a fun place to build into because we can have a door here and a door here. Oh, I quite like that. Or actually we could just build a mega wall up here and then all of this space is ours. So yeah, you know what? I think we'll do that. That looks like a great idea. Let's get everyone down. Ah, oh. six am, six am. Yeah, six am. Quite a difficult name, but you know what? We'll manage it. I'm sure we can. Thank you very much for another five dollars, you generous sausage. Oh, Alkalinti donates twenty dollars. Congratulations, you become the dog. Uh, where is it? It's in bio, isn't it? No, it's training, isn't it? Well, congratulations, you've spawned in as a husky. Um, and I, if I remember correctly, we the stream chat does love saving all of the animals in our colony. In fact, they choose to save the animals over literally everything else that I have. Everything that I've been working on is like, hey, we've only got one medicine left. But no, everyone's like, let's just feed the dogs. That's fine. And heal them. Sure. Thanks, guys. Don't mind everyone starving to death. I'm sure we can find food elsewhere. Spoiler alert. 
We did actually manage to find food elsewhere. We didn't have to eat all of the mufflers in the end. But yeah, God, I love these remote streams. Right, let's get to work. So immediately we want to deforest the entire area of the world that we are in because uh, we hate trees. And now we want to start building the mega, mega area. So uh, I want a great big, great big office block, basically. Oh, God. I didn't see that ship chunk. That needs to be deconstructed. Um, and then I guess we just build up some walls up here. And like, I don't know, here. This this will make for a good freezer, I guess. We'll have this as a freezer. It's basically a free freezer that we've been given already, so that's cool. And we got a free power source there in the form of a geothermal geyser. Although we best not use it, otherwise we will literally melt ourselves to death. This can be someone's room. Uh, this can't be, because that's just way too small. <laughs> And I guess we whack in a door kind of about here. That seems fine. And then, of course, we want a growing zone because we're going to want some tea. So we whack down one growing zone here. And this one's going to be potatoes. And then we're going to want another one. Oh, God, that just added a... Okay, that's fine. We can have extra growing zones. This one's going to be rice. Where is it? Rice plant. And now we finally want, in the zoning section, the incredible... Greatest crop in the game. Where is it? Bam, 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 bam. Tea plant. It requires five skill, and it is wonderful. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Mwah. You put on alert. Okay, right. You know what? I think it's time we do the work orders. Uh, we want manual priorities. I want everyone on maximum firefighting, so we do have a pyromaniac. So, uh, uh, yeah, thank you guys for that. And then we'll set everyone to maximum on patienting. Uh, we want our scientist -y guy to be our doctor. Um, oh, wait, actually, our scientist -y guy is 100 Statman. So literally, 100 Statman can be whatever he wants to be. Uh, he's just incredible. Honestly, if we need a job, he's going to do everything. He's so good at everything. So, um, yeah, maximum everything. That seems great. We'll also have... Uh, everyone can do a little bit of plant cutting and mining. Just not ridiculously high priorities. Uh, artistic, I doubt we're going to be able to do much artistic. Oh, we can have the oath on hauling. Congratulations, Bodum Freck. Uh, you're going to be a legendary hauler. No coffee, only tea. Exactly, only tea. There is coffee in this game. We're not going to make any. Because it is a heretical beverage. And not what we should have. Anyway, bam. We can immediately start setting up a freezer. This is great. Oh, God, I feel like I'm, I'm really getting ahead of the game. Brilliant. It's nice to be able to play RimWorld and, you know, not be failing constantly. We want to clear all and allow rotten and fresh foods. And that's all we want in there. And everything else can be stored in this corner over here. In, you know, just the pile of stuff. That's what it's going to be. You're going to put a cooler instead of a heater. Look, okay. I'm not going to make the same mistake as last time where I just filled the base up with coolers and was asking why why nowhere, nowhere was being heated in the winter. I won't make the same mistake again, okay? Right, now we need to choose who's going to be our fighters. So, um, Judge... Oh, Sixum, congratulations. You're going to have a gun. Uh, Minty, God, you're not going to have anything. <laughs> R has nothing. Uh, Nightkin, of course. Uh, 100 stat man. Grab a gun. Judge Def isn't terrible. Um, wow, we really don't have many fighters. Darham, however, you can definitely grab one. You're going to do wonders with that. You know, Minty, just grab the um, crappy pistol, actually. Uh, Bo Boredom Freak. No, Boredom Freak. You're going to have the survival rifle. Uh, and I do believe that leaves... Yeah, that's all the guns taken care of, actually. Job done. Perfect. All right, now that we have one room done, I guess we start actually filling it with beds and stuff. Um... And also building more rooms, because people don't like sleeping outside in this game. I know, how rude of them. They're so, just so, I don't know, selfish, I think is probably the best word. I think we can actually put someone over here quite happily. That's kind of like a nice little pre-built area. So we can just whack down a wooden bed there. I'm glad that you have a gun, Sixum. Use that gun wisely and don't kill all of your friends. I'd get very annoyed if you did. Nightkin, because you're the god, I'm going to need you to deconstruct this ship chunk. It normally takes a long time, but you are 100 stat man, so uh, that thing's just going to melt. Well, in figurative of speech, it's going to melt. It's going to take quite a while, nonetheless. But you're good. There you go. I mean, normally that takes forever, so not bad. 
Okay, we're going to drop that in. Nice. The walls are almost done. The trees need to be cut. God, all of these trees need to be cut. I just want this entire indoor area. Just please remove the wildlife. We don't want wildlife here. What is our house doing? Oh, wait, we've got medicine over here. Ah, oh, yes, we do want to look after that. Oh. Ba -da -da -da. I love the smooth jazz, it's great. Guys, we need to team up. Ah, oh, I like that. To get rid of coffee once and for all. I like that, Mark. That's very good. Classic Mark waste of space. There we go. So we now got the roof over our heads, which is a good start. Oh, I also need to put a bed in here, don't I? Uh, so yeah, we'll put a nice little wooden bed in there. That can be someone's room. And now we just start doing the classic spiffing thing of just whacking rooms on into areas where rooms just shouldn't go. And they look quite disgusting. But you guys have to put up with it anyway, because um, in this world, I am God. Yes. Right, so I want... Well, perhaps we have like a little corridor section. So we can go up like this. I think we can probably fit um, kind of like three bedrooms in here. Someone's going to be given like a really bad bedroom and then someone a not so good bedroom and then someone a god tier bedroom. Um, but that's just the way the world works, you know. <laughs> oh, my tea propaganda worked. Cypher Ace, I'm glad that I got you to enjoy the heretical beverage. Oh no, you still enjoy the heretical one. <gasps> oh, that's that's horrific. Oh, okay, I take that back actually. Oh, I can't believe it. Come on, once you try tea, you shouldn't ever need to go back. It's just no need to. Nothing compares. Nothing compares. Oh, and of course, I guess we want a door here. Otherwise, we're just losing a ton of heat, I guess. And then we're probably going to want power. And for that, I guess we have a wind turbine. And... God, where are we going to put this where I'm not going to accidentally block it? Um, maybe we just research geothermal almost instantly. A geothermal takes a while, doesn't it? Where is it in research? Da, da, da. Geothermal power plant. 3,200. <gasps> I can do a cheesy cheat and debug insta-finish it, but alas, I won't. Um, we're going to actually have to research that one. <sighs> a shame. What does it require? Simple research bench. Bam, that's easy. We can plop that bad boy in right about here. And oh, we need a dumping zone, don't we? Okay, we can dump over here. Lovely. Spiff, are you designing a prison architect prison or a colony in Rimworld? Um, there's, there might be prisons. Yep. Oh god, crazy gamer. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you capture a prisoner and remove their genitalia, that is in violation of the Geneva Convention. But also, how did you know my game plan? <laughs> we have one day and 14 hours until the zombies come. Good. Um, we don't have gun turrets, but eventually we will. For the time being, we can't do anything when they arrive. But you know, it's fine. Oh, we can harvest some apple trees. Oh, that is a good idea. That's a great idea. Oh, people need recreation. Okay, give them the old horseshoe. Nothing makes people happy like a good old stick in the ground to throw hoops at. The old hoop and stick. And I also realised that I want more people on plant cutting. Um, right, boot and freak the oaf. You're going to be mega plant cut. I want you cutting plants or hauling stuff. The choice is yours. And, you know, everyone can do a bit of plant cutting. If you've got nothing to do, just lob down a tree. Spiff and Dick Rippers join forces. I know. Wait, Minty, did you just agree to not having... <gasps> That's true, you are safe. Technically, your character, um, the legendary sheriff of these parts... <sighs> I mean, for a sheriff... Oh, wait, no, you're not a sheriff. You're the colonial gov governor. How on earth do you go from being a medieval slave to being a governor? Like, that is... What a stretch of life. That's brilliant. What a nice, kind, gay cannibal you are. Hello, Spiff. Hello, boss dude. 320. This looks like oxygen not included. Well, it's going to reach those kind of points. By God. Hey, Spiff, just wanted to say, let you know that I switched from coffee to tea. Oh, and now your acne is cleared up. Your dog came back and my GPA went up six points. Bam! 
using the magical properties of tea. I'm sure that was all tea. Definitely. The mouse checks out. Oh, right, come on. I want to get rid of all of these trees. Let me kill the trees, please. I don't personally have anything against them, but uh, they got to go. Chop wood. Chop the wood. Cease being wood. I want you removed. I do need the wood, to be honest. Um, we need it for building. Oh. oh, hello, Toto the table. I have some baguette. Oh, it's a baguette from the foreign lands. Don't eat without a table. <laughs> oh, yes, the classic, classic Rimworld issue. Never eat without a table. Hey, Bowden Freak, what are you doing over here? No, I keep calling him Bowden Freak, but it's Bowden Freck. What am I? You, you walked all the way out here just to eat a Twinkie. What are you doing, mate? Ah, fine. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to judge. You do as you please. And, okay, we do need that table. Otherwise, people get sad. Um, and we're going to have a nice outdoor dining area because we're quite modern that way. So there we go. And there we go. Some beds are in. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five beds. So tonight, two people are going to be sleeping on the floor. Although I say that, one of the beds isn't finished and two of the beds are outside. So uh, the choice is yours. Spiff, should I make chai or Earl Grey? Ooh. Ooh. Chai tea is actually quite tasty. Um, Earl Grey, you have to be in a certain mood for it. Earl Grey is quite powerful. Um, it's certainly not a tea that you... you it's not like a go-to tea. It's not as easy to go down as like English breakfast is. is like... When you have an English breakfast, you can just neck that, honestly. Four. I can do... I can drink more English breakfast than I can drink gin. It is a wonderful thing. How's the planting going? Apparently we haven't planted any of the potatoes, but we have planted the crops that we can't eat. Uh, we planted the tea. Have we done any rice? No, we've done none of that. That's great. <laughs> it's been a great first day. Oh, God. Also, the dogs need to sleep somewhere. Um, we'll just put them in this... Actually, I suppose we can put them in the main room. That seems like a good idea. Perfect. Bingo, bango, bongo. And um, maybe this can be someone... No, we can't, because we need it for geothermal. So that's useless. Come on, can someone finish off these walls? Good on you, Minty. There you go, Minty. Finally finish off those walls. Lovely. Actually, no, there's just a wall. Still, yeah, there's just one wall that no one has done. At least Nightkin gave him... Nightkin? Just because you gave the largest donation doesn't mean you get to steal the best bedroom. I suppose it does, actually. Maybe that's how it works. Wait, hang a second. Whole body ambrosia warmth. Have you been doing drugs? Hang on a second. How do you have ambrosia warmth? <sighs> oh, well, how's your social going? Oh, everyone likes you. You're having a fun chat with everyone. That's good. That's very good. Right, so who didn't get a bed? Um, Darman didn't get a bed and is busy researching in the dark. Good on you, Darman. <laughs> good on you. <laughs> you know what? Whatever works for you, mate. I'll give you a lamp because I'm a generous overlord. Judge Def is sleeping on the floor of the freezer. Good on you, Judge Def. And uh, let's just speed through this night. A successful first night. Wait, I forgot we have a second dog. <gasps> okay, we need to name this dog. Who are we going to name it after? Probably Crazy Gamer. Oh, God. What if gin and tonic was mixed into one drink? What? Is that even legal? I feel like that has to be illegal. But it would be quite fun, wouldn't it? I'd actually... Actually, no, I say that. Um, I did actually have a gin which was mixed with tea. So I recently met up with, um... Oh, thanks, Crazy Gamer. Anyway, you're in as a dog. <laughs> so, um, basically, I met up with Lionheart, and he made his own gin. He went to visit a gin factory. And one of the ingredients they recommended he put in was Yorkshire Tea Gold Blend. And so I had gin, because he gave me some of his lovely gin. And it was Yorkshire Tea Gold Blend. It was lovely. What is objectively the best drink? Milk. Milk is... I mean, people who are lactose intolerant probably won't agree with you, but, I mean, it's not bad. Um, it's uh, quite good. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> right, actually, um, 
even though we are doing geothermal power plant, I feel like we should probably do tree sowing first. Actually, you know, I feel like we should just start out the game with tree sowing. So I really want to cheat this, but I won't. I won't. I won't. No, we will research this manually. It's not my fault that my colony just burns through wood. Like, genuinely. Actually, no, we do need that geothermal, otherwise we are buggered. All right, bam. And to help with the work, I want a chair. And I want someone dedicated to round the clock working on research. Who's our best one? Ten, eight. Right, it's probably... It's going to be our entrepreneur. Congratulations, Arhaz. You become head. Work out how we can turn steam into power. Oh, and the tea crops are going down. Thanks, Bold and Freck and Nightkin. Oh, God. Jesus Christ, Ryoko Hasu. That's pretty dark. <laughs> oh, we got three colonists who are idle. Okay. There's an easy way to solve that. Um, just have them set to chop wood. Bam. I want all the wood gone. I also want all the food harvested. Just anything that can be harvested, give it to me. Nice. There we go. Oh, good lord. Rare Knight donates another 50. 50 dollar runos? Spiff, don't expose my addiction of rubbing stickers to get sticky. Well, it's not my fault your job is rubbing. Um, dang it. Also, thank you for naming Nightkin as the only monarch. <laughs> that is a good point. Yes. Yes, we can't call him Night King. Night King works, though, because Night King, yes, would violate our rules of loving Her Majesty as it would distract us from our... Benevolent, benevolent overlord and lovely person that is the queen. Uh, you know, we'll just build another bedroom up here. It seems fine. Wa bam, and let's just whack in a bed. There we go. They're going to have an apple tree. Uh, we should probably get rid of that from the room. They probably don't want an apple tree in their room. And maybe we can give some. Yeah, we're going to put someone's bedroom next to Nightkin. Um, just so that they can experience what it's like to sleep next to 100 Statman, the physical god of almost everything. And we'll give him a nice little bed. There we go. Bam. Perfecto. Lovely. Now everyone should hopefully have beds. I know, I'm such a benevolent overlord, aren't I? Anyway, Arhas, how are you doing with the research? I feel like I need you to go even faster. 115 out of 3,200. Oh, God. Oh, hippity hoppity, your organs are now my property. <laughs> yep, that's how this works. Oh. Wait, Darman, why are you sleeping? Oh, I guess no one built beds today. Classic. Sorry, Darman, you have to sleep in, sleep on the floor again. Oh, and Judge Def. Classic Judge Def. Oh. oh, well, at least we have some berries and apples to eat. That's nice. And also Ambrosia. Isn't Ambrosia like a pretty wacky drug? Uh, it can generate a mild addiction. Okay. It's a mood-increasing drug, but it may or may not drive you mad. We'll have to see. Spiff, have you ever drunk mint tea? I have. I have. <sighs> Electrodation Elec Studios, you only have access to iced tea? Don't worry. If you tweet the guys at Yorkshire Tea, they'll give you a source for English breakfast tea. <gasps> mad Squirrel! Oh no, where is it? Jump to location. Oh, devastating. Right, who have we got nearby? Minty? <laughs> Minty, I kind of want to see you fight the mad squirrel. But um, just in case, I'll also summon Nightkin. Uh, the man, the myth, the god. Uh, but Minty, please try and fight this squirrel. Yes, Minty. Good, good try. <laughs> Go on, use that one shot. That one accuracy. Wait, did you get a hit there? No, of course you didn't. Right, Nightkin, um, just kill it. And Minty, run, because you you can't fight. Oh, and that's what I'm talking about. One shot, one kill. Well done, Nightkin. Well done. Poor little squirrel. It's body sweat. Body was annihilated by an assault rifle. <gasps> Everyone gets beds. Next, you'll keep their kidneys. I know, we're giving them so many lovely things. It's too much. Too much, honestly. So, okay, we got that down. Now I guess we also want a butcher's table um, so that we can turn all of the dead creatures we pick up into food. 
A coffee German or a Napoleon Frenchy? Ooh. Oh, that's quite difficult. You you ask me a very difficult question, sir. Ceylon tea is the best kind of tea. Oh, Ceylon tea. Oh, Ceylon tea is quite it's quite unique. Very wacky. It's good stuff. Wait, Minty, you're still on duty, you are. Minty, get back to um what are you doing? Moving mushrooms around. Minty, you shouldn't be eating wild mushrooms, you silly sausage. Not that we have any sausage. Um we haven't unlocked it. Oh god, I feel like it's gonna take oh it has too long to get this power thing going, so um I feel like I need to step in and do it myself. Also, this storage zone, no food. No food. You're not allowed it. Right, Minty, I'm gonna build you a wind turbine. Oh uh, wow, technically we can build one here. Okay. Bam, we'll do it here, and then I want everyone to just get rid of all of these plants. Job done. Oh, there we go. We're actually gonna be able to get a, a Lovely solar panel sorted. <gasps> Great. But no sausages until you start organ harvesting, right? Of course. Oh, God. Nightkin! Why are you binging the Ambrosia? Oh, God, he's getting high off drugs. Great. Great. You're, you're very happy because you're feeling Ambrosia warmth. But you don't need it because you have a joy wire, which is like a medical, like a metal thing in your head that's forcing you to be happy constantly. Why did we dump the squirrel carcass over here? Okay, I'm not going to ask. I'm just not going to ask. And butchering table. We're going to have butcher creature forever. Just do forever. Perfect. <sighs> Yay for drugs. Yay for drugs indeed. Da -da -da. He's getting high on drugs. I know, I'm so annoyed. The only drugs you should be getting high on is the relaxing, smooth taste of tea. Mmm. The greatest of all. Come on, can we get this um great big wind turbine finished? Eventually. How much wood do we have lying around? 1,597. Okay, good. That means we can start Operation Stockpile. So we're going to designate this entire area as a stockpile. Um, it's so going to expand this one. Bam. There we go. Now it's bigger. And in everywhere that isn't the stockpile, we're going to... Going to add in a wood floor. There we go. So these people's bedrooms, wood floors. I know. We're being so nice. Of course, not Nightkin. Nightkin has superior, like, what is it? Sandstone tiles or whatever. God, he's fancy. You know, we're actually even going to give him an end table as well. Despite the fact that he's, you know, running around doing a load of drugs. We're going to give them a nice little table. And also, we should probably give people lamps in their rooms. Or just lamps in general. Um, I feel like lamps would be a, a fine addition to everything. <laughs> probably should get on with them. <laughs> oh. We need a tea review. <gasps> you know, maybe I could get an actual... I might be able to get sponsored for something like that. That might be a good idea. Oh, and we should also set our lovely set our lovely people to mine. Get them mining away. That'd be great. Bam! Windmill's up and running. There we go. It's going. And now I want it to freeze a place. There we go. Is it working? Is the temperature getting reduced? I think it is. Come on, reduce it down. Uh, yep, the temperature is slowly dropping. Perfecto! We've done it. Perfecto. This is great. This is lovely. There we go. We're building that end table. Nightkin's room is going to become something incredible. How is it now? It is a... um. It's 0 0.3. 0 so it's not the best. Um, but it is certainly the best room we have available at the moment. So you can't complain. Oh, Harry's here. Hello. Good thing the heat... Heaters are the right way around this time. Yes, they are indeed. I know, it's great. I was going to add you as a mod, Harry. There you go. Um, he's my editor, by the way. So, yeah, if you want something in the video, I don't know, you just say you like him. And if it, as long as it's in the chat whilst he's editing, he'll put it in probably. That's how editing works, right, Harry? I think. <laughs> what is going on over here? Oh, we're just adding in the cables. Good stuff. Good. You know what? Not a bad first start. Apparently there are zombies though, because they have technically started spawning in, so there might be some around the map. What have we got over here? Oh, we got the death bugs. 
the mega spiders. Right, I just don't want to do anything about that. It's dormant, so we don't need to worry about it. Uh, there's a boom rat over there. Um, just nothing up here. Some muffalos. Nothing from the north. Nothing from this side. Good. No zombies at the moment. Although, actually, they do spawn at night, so maybe they'll come tonight. Hmm, that would be a bit of a pain. Anyway, I think it's time we start building a massive wall. Um, to keep the zombies out, mostly. But also to keep our voluntary workers in. So we'll just whack that in. Give it a great big door. There we go. We can get to work on that. Oh, if Harry sees this make a Jojo reference. Oh, that's an interesting choice. Bethany Harris, I'm surprised it's been this calm so far. I know, we've got Randy Random, so... One mad squirrel incident? I'd say we're doing really well at the moment. I mean, we need that geothermal vent up soon, but other than that, things are going great. Maybe, actually, we should put Statman on researching. I'm wondering if that's what we do. Yeah, just, like, slow down all of 100 Statman's other ideas... But make sure he's now researching. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, we can do that. But he's too busy getting high on drugs. Oh, Anonymous has become a sponsor for the sole reason that their name was too risky for Streamlabs to read out. Thank you. Oh, Harry. Yeah, of course, you're editing and watching at the same time. Yeah. So he's busy editing a special Hearthstone video. Uh, because for some reason, Blizzard thought it would be a smart idea to sponsor me. So thank you. Uh, that's my first ever sponsored video, so <laughs> I'm happy. And uh, hopefully when they receive the finished product, they're going to hope it wasn't a waste of money. Uh... <laughs> Although honestly, I had fun, so I don't really mind. God, I love... Oh wait, 12 zombies. Where are they? 13 zombies. Oh, where are they spawning? Up here, is it? Looks like there are a few up here. What do we got? We've got a... Is that a zombie wearing a dapper... A pretty dapper hat over there. Oh, he looks pretty fun. And there's another one up there. Okay, they're mostly just wandering around on the edge of the map at the moment. Oh, yeah, they're just coming out the ground. Yeah, they don't seem too unfriendly. Um, oh, God, there's quite a few down there. Maybe we should try and... We probably should try and, I don't know, pick a few off before they get a bit too excessive. So... Maybe once Nightkin has stopped binging drugs, we can take him for a stroll and do it. The power of tea will keep the zombies back. That's what I'm hoping. Literally just noticed this is a live stream. Just thought it was a very badly edited video. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Was the live chat not a bit of a giveaway? I mean, <laughs> actually, I suppose they have YouTube Premiere now. God, YouTube Premiere, what a thing. YouTube Premiere was like an idea that they had, which wasn't terrible. I can see why they had the idea. But the fact that you physically couldn't customise anything about it was a bad idea. Oh, zombie attack. Here we go. A group of zombies appear. And it looks like... Oh, God, that's a... Well, now 94 zombies? Okay. This is going places. This is going many places. Oh, God. Hey, Spiff, Dylan and Jake would like to say hello. Hello, Garold. Hello to Dylan and Jake. Hope they're having a fun time. Jesus, good Lord. Um, apparently, uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Hypno Bear, donates 1,000 rub. Rub is my favourite currency. Um, it's all about rub. Thank you very much for your generous donation there. Oh, I'm glad I made it through the copyright disaster. Is there a way to name some colonists after me? You know what? I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can name a colonist after you. What I'm going to do I'm going to place down a wooden spike trap there. Um, please, can someone do that? Nightkin, I just need you to get off the bloody... Just stop being high on drugs and I can use you to fight the slowly creeping forward zombie horde. <sighs> Alright, you know what? Actually, Hypnobear, I think I have a way of getting you in. Um, spawn Porn. Uh, spawn... I need a friendly, basically. Bam, Colonist. Okay, we'll spawn a random Colonist. There we go. A new Colonist joins. 
Um, it's completely random, so I have no idea. I have no way of controlling them. But congratulations, Hypno Bear, you're in the game. And to be fair, we could use another we could use another hand right now because uh, yeah, there's a zombie horde approaching, and our best fighter. Oh, you know, it would be good if we could use a hand, but you physically can't use a gun. Thank you, thank you, Hypno Bear. You make a fine addition to this colony. <laughs> Oh, in our time of need, we were given a doctor who's good at intellectual. Oh, God. Right. Hypno Bear. Um, you can do some research. That's fine. Speaking oh, of God. Have you ever thought about breaking have their ever thought, billions? Have you ever thought about breaking their billions? Oh, yes, I do quite like their billions. Probably worth breaking at one point. Bam, Hypno Bear. Thank you for starting to work on that little trap. Oh, God, there are some zombies coming. Oh, God. Um... Hypno Bear, can you finish off that construction, please? How good your construction skill? It's not the best. Do it quickly, do it quickly, do it quickly. I don't know if you can do it fast enough, Hypno Bear. Bam, you did it. You botched the bloody construction. Cargo pods, where are they? What is it? It's just a ton of silver, and it's over near a ton of zombies. What is going on over here? The zombies just standing around the limestone? Good. Their pathing is broken. Yes. Right, Nightkin, are you back up and... Are you alive? Are you not... Yes, he's no longer high on drugs. And he has eaten the entire drug supply, so I'm hoping this means he can no longer get high on drugs and just ruin everything. <laughs> right, Nightkin, as soon as you finish sleeping, I'd like you to come out here and try and fight some of them. Oh! The biggest decision has arrived! What do we name the colony? And also the faction. So we need a name for the faction and the name for the colony. So we typically go for something along the lines of the East India Trading Company. Uh, so the choice is every is up to everyone. I mean, like the East India Zombie Survival Force um, might be a good idea. Whoa. Why is this a thing and where is this? The spliffing tea is on its way. It's growing. The community. Okay, the community is a good idea. All right, bam. The community is a great name for the faction. And this particular colony, um, Zombie Land, what I mean, four. it is pretty close to it. East Mars Zombie Fast, Eastern London. <gasps> oh, I've got an idea. That gives me an idea. I'm just going to call it Skegness. The greatest settlement known to man. So the community, Valiant Defenders of Skegness. All right, Night Nightkin. Surely you've had enough sleep by now. How have you only had half... I don't care, right? Nightkin, you're going to have to defend the person building the single spike trap. Right, Nightkin, come out here. Oh, God. Six and run. Okay, the zombies have activated. Nightkin, I'm going to need you to be ready. I, the thing is, I don't actually know how powerful the zombies are. So, this is when we discover. And also, I'm pretty sure we're going to need to give Judge Death a gun. Oh, God. They're just standing. They're standing. Oh, God, it's spooky. All right, just equip that. I feel like we're going to need to dismantle part of the wall so that we can actually fight them. So I'm um, six them. Come and uh, dismantle this. And then we can hopefully go out there and fight them. Oh, God. They're pretty spooky. Right. It's going to be up to you two to try and fight them. Okay, now here they come. Minty, don't open that door, Minty. For goodness sake, don't open that door. Right, now open fire. That was a headshot there. Minty. Minty, you're being good bait. Okay, that actually took an alarming amount to kill them. Have I exploited the game accidentally? Not as far as I'm aware. Right, everyone step out for a bit. Okay, run. Back inside, back inside. We've aggroed one. And now open fire. Good stuff. That's one down. Sixum, do not open that door! Sixum! <laughs> oh, six of them. Okay, right. There is a 50 50 chance your head has been infected by a zombie. There is a chance it is fine and nothing is wrong, in which case you will survive. Alternatively, you are dead. And 
Okay, so normally if a bite is infected, it gives us four days to do an operation to move to remove the limb. This was you got bitten on the head, and we can't amputate your head off exactly. Well, I suppose we could, just not a good idea. Um, right, so lie down in a bed. God, I hope we don't lose you because you were the only other good shot. Oh, right. Anyway, that was a good fight. Actually, we're we still doing a bit of shooting. Yes, we are. Okay, that's another zombie down. You know what? They did a good job. I think we've mostly pinned them down. Is that a crawler? Oh, there we go. Zombie's dead. Zombie's defeated for the time being. Well done. Well done, everyone. All right, we can uh, put in another door there. This gives us multiple exits. There you go. Put everyone off of um, that. Okay, now someone go save Sixum. Who's doing it? Is no one assigned to being a doctor? Oh, Sixum was the doctor as well. Of course he was. <laughs> Fine, Hypno Bear. Congratulations, our brand new colonist. Does that mean I'm brain dead? Sixum, implying you're brain dead would require you having a brain. No, I'm joking. You do have a brain. You did a good job. It's such a shame that you did wander out and just got killed. And a heat wave. Oh, God. Everyone's going to get a heat stroke. Okay, um, so to fix this, we need to add in a cooler here, and then a vent here, here, and here. And we also need to hook it up to the power grid. All hail the Queen and Yorkshire Tea, of course. All hail them indeed. Oh, but of course, we can't actually cool anything because there's not enough wind. Bugger. Okay, I think we're going to have to resort to passive coolers for the time being. So everyone have a passive cooler in their bedroom. That'll be fine. Right, have we healed Sixum? Yes, we have. Right. You got bitten. Hopefully you'll be fine. Hopefully. I'm passively cool. Oh, I like that R has. Oh, that's good. You know what, actually, can we rename that? R has, and then we'll add passively cool. Bam. R has Jones, passively cool. You have the title passively cool. Oh my god, you can actually have titles? I didn't realise that was a feature. That's brilliant. Do we just have a random rat? Cool, okay. Random rat. We have a rat friend. Nice. And how's the research going? Nightkin is actually researching at a good speed. God, I just want to finish this immediately. Sixum is apparently not happy with the fact that we've teared up all of the walls in order to build a uh, build a cooler. But uh, trust me, it's either that or you die. So uh, I think it's a good idea. Derpy Spy Crab, can I be the rat? <laughs> Fine, we'll try and tame the rat. Um, just because you asked. Who's our tamer? Pretty sure it's the handler. So Nightkin is likely to, going to be... Actually, we'll have Minty tame you. Minty or Nightkin... Actually, we'll just have Minty be our tamer. Okay, Minty, I don't know, just like grab a grab a raspberry or something and try and tame him. Can the rat get a hat? Oh, I'd love that. Is he a zombie? Honestly, only time will tell if Sixum becomes a zombie. Oh, actually, I want him to drop his gun. Oh, can I get him to drop it? Gear, drop gun. There we go, dropped his gun. Now rest until healed. Good, because I didn't want him turning into a zombie whilst having the gun in his hand. That would have just been a recipe for disaster. There's 94 zombies on this map. Luckily, they're all standing around here, not doing much. Four. Yeah, I think hopefully we're just going to get a ton of like turrets set up out here. When we get some geothermal power sorted, we can just have some turrets. And whenever zombies come, they should be able to just mow them down. I'm quite surprised that the zombies, they, they don't really care about the insects. And the insects don't really care about the zombies. That's good. Oh, and we can force the insects to reproduce. Oh, that's a great idea. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> oh, Education Studios. This is going to be my last donation for now, but I have some tea. Oh, no. El Elocudation Studios. God, that name. Um, thank you very much. Thank you for the tea emojis. Very kind of you. Lovely sausage. Six and the head amputee. Yes, well, that is where we're going to have to be headed if he doesn't sort out this bite wound. And uh, we don't have too long. I think we have about six hours, whatever. Yeah, we just have to keep an eye on you, basically. Um, hopefully, you should be fine. If you're not, 
I'm sorry, but you're just going to have to die. God, it's 46 degrees outside. My God, I think some passive callers aren't quite going to cut it. I think we might need a bit more than just one passive caller in here. Um, or is it temperature? Wooden passive caller. We'll put one in here, one in here, and one in here. There we go. Hopefully we can just passive call everything. Insects versus zombies. I'd love that, but sadly not. It would kind of solve our problem. Or maybe make more problems. I'm not sure. Oh, Has, what are you doing? You're cleaning the blood up. Oh, that's very nice of you, oh, Has, but there are some kind of more pressing matters to worry about. <sighs> Who's set to plant? Oh, growing. Uh, we only have two people set to growing. Maybe we could put some more on growing. Just kind of like if you're doing nothing, you should probably be planting crops. Maybe to cool them off, they just need some iced tea. Well, iced tea is um, iced tea is good and all, but what about nice, cool, refreshing, normal tea? Yeah. Have a think about that. How long is our tea from growing? It's at 33% grown. Got a while yet. I think tea grows about the same speed as rice, uh, which isn't too bad. God, six them. Come on, just don't die. You're honestly not a bad character. I'd much rather prefer you to have you alive. I mean, you're the casket builder, for goodness sake. How are we going to have graves? Honestly, we should probably make you dig your own grave before you die. Otherwise, we're going to have some issues. Oh, Yazamachi donates five Canadian dollar runos. Oh. Oh, thank you very much, Yazamachi. Thank you very much for your generous donation. Thank you. I'm glad that I gave you some happiness in a tough time. All right, the rat is designated to being tamed. Minty, can I force? Can I force you tame? Animal has been interacted to recently. Wait, did you seriously fail to tame the rat? <sighs> Fine. Fine, you failed to tame the rat. Right, Ken, how are you doing in your room? What is your room like? 0 0.7, not bad at all. Not bad. And what even is your bed like? Is it a good bed? It's an excellent quality bed. Wow, does everyone have excellent beds? No. Sixum has a good bed. Um, no masterworks though, just a lot of excellent beds. Oh, you know what? We should probably also have a cooking table, shouldn't we? That feels like a good investment. And I want you to be on a cool temperature. There we go. And uh, you are connected up to the same power grid, right? Yeah, there is a power line. Oh, oh no, it's technically not hooked up, is it? No, it was missing one cable. Of course it was. <sighs> and I'd like a butcher table. Oh no, not butcher. A Fueled stove or electric stove? We don't really have the best electricity at the moment, but it is an investment for the future. So we'll take that. Steel slag chunk. Oh, that's rude. Coffee heresy. Get some green tea instead. Well, I mean, this mod technically does let us grow coffee. I just have no intention of doing such a thing. In fact, it might be in the vegetable garden research, is it? No, I don't think it is. Wow, what can we, what can we grow? Eventually, we can unlock apples, bananas, oranges, and peaches. Or even ambrosia or wild biome plants. <sighs> That's crazy stuff. But no, for the time being, just tea. Just tea. The pure tea. Hmm. I've just run out of coffee. I'll purchase the right thing next time I go to the grocery store. Good, Zigsy. Go purchase that tea next time you go. Do me proud. Oh. Doodle doodle doodle. Oh, another. Wacky, incredible donation. Actually, I realised the jazz has stopped. Jazz, get back. Give me more jazz. Thank you, jazz. Oh, it's good. Good to be back with the jazz. If, you get another handler, plant if I get another handler or plant tender, you'd love to be named after them. <laughs> Kazindel, I'm sure we can probably find a sad llama to give you. Or alternatively, a gardener. I'm sure we can find one. Oh, what is going on here? All of these zombies just became activated. Oh no, okay. Um, right, I'm going to need you guys. Activate. Grab your guns and get ready on the defensive. Oh, has have you got a gun? Or are you the one that... Two shooting, honestly. It's better than being Hypno Bear and just not. Oh wait, I just realised Hypno Bear has no bed. Right, uh, we need to give Hypno Bear a bedroom, don't we? Um, Hypno Bear? You, know what you can have over here. We'll give you a nice long bedroom. And 
let's give it a bed. There we go. Are they coming? Right, there we go. This is hopefully also going to train Minty's shooting skills because, um, as we know, they're not the best. Come on, can you kill that zombie? And that one? Come on, Minty. Minty is uh, going to slowly learn how to shoot. They're a beginner at the moment. <laughs> Have I got a license for the organ harvesting enterprise? God no. That's how all, that's how all the best ones run. Arhas, can you shoot? No, you're not the best shoot. Bowden Freak, you're one. Darman, you're 19. Get out of here, Darman. Darman, quick. God, I need another shooter. So yeah, this has been the zombie siege for the day. Um, it's not been too crazy, but it has been... It was a bit tricky. I, mean, I think we can cycle off a few people. Judge of Death, you can go back and get some sleep. Minty, have you leveled up any stats yet? Yeah, you're now shooting level 3. That's good. Nightkin, you're doing good as well. Um, you know, we could probably get rid of Minty, but I kind of just want Minty to train shooting for a bit. How do I feel about Dejli Ling tea? Tastes kind of like flowers to me in a good way. Yeah, I've had it in some afternoon tea and it was quite nice. Um, but I've never really had it uh, just in general, so maybe I'll need to give it a try more. But I do love my English breakfast. There we go. Bam. I think that is most of the zombies taken care of, excluding a few. So, um, you know, I'm going to allow all of them to just go off. Is this a crawler? Yeah, we've got a single crawler. Uh, yeah, just Darman by himself should be okay with what we have left. Um, let's have him finish off the one on the ground. There we go. That's one down. Can you kill that one? Yep, you can. Come on, Darman. Just a few more. Good stuff, Darman. There you go, that's another one down. Oh wait, we got more coming, of course we do. This channel got you through free 300 tea bags. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's a good amount. Nightkin, actually, I'm going to need you back. I'm going to need you back. Oh, Nightkin. Darman, run south a bit, but not too far away from the door. And Nightkin, just come out of here. Don't activate the trap. Good. Right, come on. Kill. Oh god, this is getting risky. Run, 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 run. Okay, now open fire on them. Get a bit of range on it. Come on, please knock him down. Knock him down. One more. There we go. Good stuff. I think that's most of the zombies done for the night. Or at least all the ones that we need to worry about. Yeah, we can kill that one quite fine. There we go. Job done. Go back to normal work. Ah, oh, not bad. Not bad. Okay, have we learnt from Sixum yet? Is he infected? No, nope, we don't know yet. Hypno Bear still doesn't have a room. And he's just sleeping on the floor of the hospital. Oh, wait, Hansling, there's more of them. Oh, God, they're breaking the door. Guess we need to do something about that. Um... You know, we'll leave it for a bit. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> oh, God. It'll take him a while to get through it anyway, so uh, that's fine. That's fine. How's the heatwave outside treating the zombies? Of course, they're not affected. Good night, Spiff. I enjoy your stream. Good night, Dice Spiff in South America. Have a nice sleep, mate. Oh, okay. Door's 84% health. Not bad. Not bad at all. Actually, I wonder, can we... Re what it are you repairing the wooden door? Hopefully, Sixum, that doesn't mean you open the door. No, you can just repair it faster than they destroy it. That's great. And your health! Sixum, you survived! Sixum, congratulations, you weren't infected after all. Oh, that's brilliant. Well done, Sixum. Well done. Good for you. No, you did just open that door, though, Sixum. Why did you do that, Sixum? God, don't open... And our has, do not open that, okay? Just cancel that. Just let it go. Just leave that thing behind. And don't anyone bother cleaning any of that. I need to make sure we zone it as not home area. Clear home area. All of this. No just running out there because there's a speck of dirt that needs to be cleaned. But do feel free to repair the door on occasion. But well done. Um, well done for surviving. 
Would have been a shame to lose you. Sixum, honestly, I feel like we you probably deserve an operation. Um, maybe we just harvest one of your organs. Or we, we could neuter you. We could remove your organs. Your sexual organs. I mean, maybe you can sell them in this game. I'm pretty sure you can't, but it would be good fun if we could. Hello, Seb Rogers. Nice to have you in chat, mate. Hope you're having a nice day. Not infected. Crab rave time. <laughs> it is indeed a successful crab rave time when you discover you haven't been infected. Oh, they're going to break through this door soon, aren't they? They really are. Oh, well. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. When they do, we can deal with it then. But for the time being, we have 55% health left. And we're just able to relax and work on making better bedrooms for everyone. Actually, you know what? Sixum, seeing as you're... Actually, have we got anyone who's idle? No. Right, Judge Def, see if you can prioritise repairing this. Right, Judge Def, go, just, just repair the door. Wait, Sixum, what are you... Oh, Sixum repaired the door again. Good stuff, Sixum. Good. Don't open that door. Do not... Okay, thank God. Oh, Whenever Sixum gets close to the door, I'm just... I'm so worried that he'll just open it up and go, Ha! Surprise! And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, no. Thank God. Did I vote today? Yeah, I voted today. Yeah, it was European Union elections. Of course, I don't discuss politics, because, come on, I'm a YouTuber. No one cares about politics of a YouTuber who's entire job is just to make you laugh and have fun. Uh, so yeah, I voted. I had fun. Um, I hope if you could vote, you voted and you had fun as well. Um, I don't care how you voted. It's the taking part that counts. Um, and also, don't say how you voted in chat, because uh, you'll just get banned for... Well, you won't get banned, but you'll get muted, because we don't like politics around here. Come on, it's a, it's all about drinking tea. There's no need for politics in tea. Um... I think we should grow more... Part of me says we should grow more food, but another part of me says we should grow more tea. So I'm kind of in a catch-22 of tea or food. Uh, <laughs> I know, technically speaking, food probably would keep you alive longer. Tea is po politics agnostic. Exactly. Thank you, Minty, for doing the door and not opening it. That's a good door repairman right there. Sixum, you have nothing to do. You know, put you on um, four for everything. Bam, you can do whatever you like. And I guess we can have everyone set to um, chop down like all of this wood here. And also just harvest everything. And you know what, maybe we should just have another another wind turbine. Because we, have, we do not have enough electricity. So um, let's just put a wind turbine here. That seems good. Or we'll power conduit it up. Nice. Perfecto. Actually, give us a bit more electricity. Judge Death. Oh, God. You're cleaning blood. Uh, what? Blight? Oh, bugger. Right. Um, right, we need to clear that. Uh, orders. We need to cut plant. Kill the blight. Or the blight needs to go. Otherwise, we're buggered. What if the blight spreads to our tea? Then we're dead. Oh, we wouldn't be able to survive. Admittedly, the Great Potato Blight of... What is this? 5500? Zero, zero. Oh, it's devastating. Right, get rid of it all. Hopefully... You don't need to do that. Okay, fine. We're doing that one anyway, apparently. Uh, it's clear, 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 clear. There we go. I know it's probably a hot key or something, but, um, you know, it's me, so you just got to do it the manual way. There we go. Bam. Now, I want everyone who does plant cutting, to really think about plant cutting right now. It's going to be great. You're going to love it, and I also really desperately need you to do it. Right, and away you go. Cut those plants. There you go, Minty. Stop that spread. You go, Minty. Harvest botched. I don't care that the harvest is botched, because it's blight. It's a good thing that you botched it. Well, whoever planted it botched it, really. Who's our head gardener? Who is the head gardener? I forgot. Um, it is, of course, Bodon Freck. Bodon Freck. You know what we do? You've got initial heat stroke, but you know what we do to people who botch, botch the harvest? Uh, we remove their, we remove their reproductive organs, as is tradition. Oh, we got a spread of blight there. Get rid of that. 
Get rid of that one. Let's prioritise cutting that one, come on. I want it gone, Minty. I want it gone. There go plant cut and plant cut there. How's that door doing? 51%? You know, not bad. Not bad at all. There we go, everyone. The colony is saved. All of the blighted plants have been killed. Oh, for the greater good, indeed. I don't live in Ireland, good lord, no, I don't. My editor does, though. But, uh, oh, I do love this jazz, it's great. Judge Def, are you repairing the door again? You are. What a, what a hero. You know, maybe we should create a, um, kind of like just an area that we lure the zombies into. Ooh. We kind of have like a ton of spike traps, but spike traps cost a ton of wood, so we probably shouldn't. It's a bad idea. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's not a good idea. Hello, Project Sixum. Oh, Resident Evil with the T-Virus! <gasps> oh! Oh, that's brilliant! It's the T-Virus! It makes so much sense now! Oh, it is that T-Virus. The pesky T-Virus. Sixum, where are you going? Oh, you're repairing the wooden door. Thank you. You're not um, accidentally opening the wooden door for fun. Good, Sixum. Good. And thank you again for your very generous donation, Sixum. Very, very generous. Oh, Nightkin doing some planting. Good. Hypno Bear on the research bench. Yes. Oh, this is great. We've got the squad doing their stuff. Hang on a second. Why is it so hot in here? Can we please turn this down. You meant to be, I suppose we are in a heat wave, but um, all my food's going to spoil soon if we're not careful. You must cure it with tea. <gasps> Maybe that's why we're out here. We were like dropped onto this planet to grow tea and cure the local inhabitants via either bullets or tea. Uh, the two ways of curing. I mean, it would make a lot of sense, really. Oh, God. <laughs> we have literally no food. Sorry, no, not food. Electricity. Spiff, spiff, spiffing Brit. Lover of English Queen. There was a cat that really was gone. Spiff, spiff, spiffing Brit. Spiff, spiff. Oh, God. I like the song, actually. I like the song. That is good. Thank you very much. Got idle colonists. Minty, why are you idle? That's terrible. You know what we do to people who are idle? That's right. We tell them to build another research bench. Does having two research benches increase the speed of research? Um, pretty sure it does. So I want another one of those. Bad temperature. God, it's 38 degrees in here. Oh, God, right. We need another one then. Another cooler in here. Oh, there's just no way we can call these places. Target temperature should not be minus two over here. Target temperature should be, um, I don't know, like 16 or something. Construction botched. Nice. You keep botching. Right, maybe we should try and actually lower the number of these zombies. So I'm going to summon everyone. And we're going to have them fight. Okay, so who's going to be head door opener? Um, I think we should probably go for... Oh, wait, Sixum, we took his gun away. Who has Sixum's gun? Because Sixum's a good shot. Is it Judge Def? Yeah, I think it's Judge Def. Actually, R has. R has, I'm going to have you drop that gun because... Um, take that. And Sixum, you can grab that assault rifle. There we go, good stuff. And then, actually not, instead of opening the door, we can just shoot it, I guess. That works. Um, oh, no, 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 don't, don't do that, don't do that. Hypno Bear, just um, stand back. There we go, everyone open fire now. There we go. And now we kill the zombies. Wait, why is Crazy Gamer out here? Crazy Gamer, the dog, I guess they just don't care about animals. The zombies don't mind. They love, they love dogs. They think dogs are great. God, I realise we have shredded up our own walls here. 
But you know what? It's fine. We're clearing out the zombies. They were annoying. Oh god, we did shoot down some of our walls. Come on, kill the ones on the ground. Come on, finish them off. There we go. They're all done now. Job done, everyone. Well done. Well done. Let's rebuild up that wooden wall. Well done. That was a good zombie defense. God, what have I done? I botched that up. Just cancel. Cancel this. No, this bit. There you go. Cancel. Job done. Well played, everyone. Oh, there's a mushroom growing. Good. The chat is suggesting... <laughs> Project Sixum, opener of doors. Yes. Yes, okay. I'm very happy to do that. Uh, Sixum, opener of doors. Bam. Well done, Sixum. Can I get a rat named after me? <laughs> I love that the aim is to get a rat named after you. Of course, who wouldn't want a rat named after them? Speaking of which, where is that rat? And here it is. Can we try and tame this rat? It is currently getting heat stroked. Please, rat, don't die. Okay, so um, Minty gave the rat a command. The rat refused. <laughs> Ah has called. Ah has called the rat to come to him. The rat refused. The rat just keeps refusing. R has sat near the rat and talked to himself about childhood fears. R has came near the rat while talking to himself about the nature of emotion. <laughs> R has, why do you keep having deep philosophical talks with the unnamed rat? <gasps> we have a squirrel as well. Okay, we can tame the squirrel. Basically all the wildlife we have in here. Um, I think that is all of the creatures we have. But yeah. Also, we did leave the door open. Oh, and Sixum doesn't have a bed. Sixum! Oh god, a, a zombie just wandered in, Sixum. Kill it, please, Sixum. Kill it, Sixum. Thank you, Sixum. Job done. And um, this is your bed, so um, I don't know. Just go sleep there. That's fine. And hopefully no more zombies wander in by accident. I'm not going to patch up that door until the next day, but it's fine. <laughs> Yes, your philosophy degree is bled into the game. You come over to the rat and you sit down and you're like, Hello there, rat. I've come to discuss the deep philosophical meanings of the German philosopher Kant. And also Descartes. Are we really here? Do I exist? Do you exist, Mr. Ratty? Does T exist? Of course T exists, says the rat. And then you go, what the hell? The rat just spoke to me. Um, but you have to accept it because the rat is your friend and has also proved its existence. Oh my god, come on, let's get this um, geothermal up and running soon. I mean, it has taken us many days. We're now into summer. Hopefully the zombies aren't wandering through. Oh god, now I say that, they are actually now starting to come through. Right, Nightkin, um, congratulations. You're on early morning zombie sniping duty. Uh, in fact, you might need someone out here to assist you. Maybe Darman? How's he doing on sleep at the moment? A he seems quite well rested. Right, Darman, come over here. Come and help out. Maybe we need multiple people as well. Not our house. He only has a bloody knife. Right, in fact, we'll get Bodum Freck out as well. There you go. Good morning to all the zombies. <laughs> We're slowly taking them down. They just take a very long time to kill. Oh god, and they just keep on coming in. Oh, that makes sense. Yes, if you think about it, dumping the tea in the harbour was just turning the world into tea. Or turning the ocean into tea. Right, come on, kill the zombies, come on. Yep, come on. Yep, next one. Right, it looks like Minty's going to make a move on the wall soon. Come on, can we kill that one? Come on, that one's too close. Yes, thank God that was close. Right. And now um, I'm going to need you to come up here. And try and defend the wall, basically, whilst we construct it. Right, Judge Death, it's your job to build the wall whilst we shoot the zombies coming towards it. There we go, job done. Wall, is, wall was built. Everyone's happy. Perfecto. 
Oh, a fire. Oh, of course. Lovely. Right. Please, can someone put out that fire? Darman. Prioritise extinguishing fire. I just... We can't... Honestly, if we have a fire, that's it. The freezer's buggered. Kill it. Kill the fire. There we go. We're saved. Thank God. Dear Spiff, I would like to request that the zombie horde be called the Germans or the French. Um, honestly, I think um, victims of the T-virus, I think, works quite well for me. But, of course, maybe. Oh, the heatwave is over. Good. Finally. Oh, yes, and we can have two people researching simultaneously. Good. Let's give them both chairs. Brilliant. Oh, the rat has been tamed. And R has named the rat Rat One. Has named her Rat One. Okay, female rat. <laughs> Who wanted the female rat? Uh, that was Smash. Smash Dos. Smash Dos Forty Five. Congratulations, you've been given a rat. <laughs> Why have we taken in a creature that's just going to eat all of our food? I don't know, but hey. Oh, and of course, what do we want to do? We want to cook not fine meals, not fine meals. We want simple meals, and we want to do until we have, I think, probably about 40 simple meals. Actually, 60. Maybe equivalent to the amount of colonists we have, so 80. 80 simple meals would be good. Oh, R has makes the meals. Oh, that's good, R has. Look at you. You know, we'll even give you a chair to work on. Or maybe, actually, no, we'll just give you a stool. Yeah, everyone else gets a chair. But um, if you're cooking, you just get the stool. Spy Crab also wanted a rat. <sighs> God, where's the rat? <laughs> uh, not in this one. I think it is this one. Spawn Pawn. I think it is somewhere in the Spawn Pawn. Spawn Pawn Rat. All right, there we go. So it's a new rat that we have to tame. Brilliant. Okay, we're just taming all those rats now. That's what this has become. After the T-virus spread from Resident Evil. Yes, it crossed over into this universe. Hey, Shano. Hey, man, love the vids. Much love. Much love to you too, mate. Thank you very much. Are they trying to bash the door again? That's not nice of them. Stop the door bashing. <gasps> Minty. Zombies be, Done. Lovers, Zombies be called coffee lovers. Oh, that's an interesting idea, Smash Dos. That is an interesting idea. <gasps> What did you do? Sixum, literally I just watched Sixum open that door. And what are you doing? You're cleaning the blood from out here? Oh God, clear home area. This is not the home area. You are not going to clear the blood out there. Why on earth would we clear blood outside where the zombies are? And Sixum and Arhaz, I did see you do that. I know it's nice that you had a fun little chat. You had a chat about parties. And Sixum and I have shared a word about cooking with eggplants. Excuse me, is that... Are you making subtle innuendos, R has? R has and Sixum. I mean, R has is a guy. Sixum is a girl. And neither of them are gay, as far as I'm aware. So that could be a future coupling. <sighs> but then they'd start demanding, like, a double bed. That's a lot of work. Sixum is working with the zombies. Yeah, Sixum just keeps spontaneously running over here and is like, Oh, I'm going to open up the door because there's a speck of dirt underneath it. Don't mind me. Wait, is, what's that rat doing? Oh, Smash Dos, you're consuming tall grass. That's great. We don't even have to feed you. You just feed yourself off of the grass. Brilliant. Oh, you're going to be fed off countryside alone. Sixum wants coffee. Remove him from the colony. Well, if he said that kind of heresy, we just march him out to be turned into a zombie. Um, <laughs> but I need proof of that first. Oh. Duh, duh. Oh, I love this jazz. Wait, rats are omnivores. I know, rats will literally eat anything. Pretty sure they do in this game as well. What's this? Fire starting spree, Judge Death. For goodness sake, Judge Death. Oh my god. Just, no. Don't set fire to the table. We use that for food. You melon. Darwin, are you just going to stand there? Just relaxing socially? No, just put out the fire. Okay? And don't you dare set fire to the tea crops, Judge Def. Judge Def, do not set fire. Don't you do it, Judge Def. 
Setting fire to the tea crops is hair. Oh my god, he's a. Right. That's it. Where's your bed? Where's your bed, Judge Def? For prisoners? Arrest that man. Arrest him. Chat, what are we going to do for the man who literally is setting fire to tea? New to them. Oh, yes. Yes, that'll teach them. That will teach them. Medical. And we'll go to health. Operations. Neuter. Death by fire. Peg legs. <laughs> I said I drank soda, but water is good. I'm not one. Right, we're going to remove Judge Death's sexual organs and also replace both their legs with pegs. <laughs> the chatters. The chatters spread the word of justice for the one who burnt tea. For goodness sake, just stop. Okay, no longer on the fire spree. Well, congratulations. You now get to sit down on the bed. Who's doing the operation today? Because I'm pretty sure we have some really bad doctors. Oh, oh we have a psychic soothe. Who's this for? For everyone of the female gender. Well, it's a good thing, Judge Def, because you're going to need all of the soothing you can get once we remove half of your organs. Oh, so who is prioritised on doing this? Um... You should probably have... Uh, yeah, you should probably prioritise operating on them. Judge Def, what's your needs like? You do need food. Don't really mind. Oh, bulk goods trader. Oh, that's good. I'm pretty sure the bulk goods traders have to fight their way through the zombies. I'm not sure. It'll be interesting to see. Hopefully their llamas don't get killed. Oh, wow. The zombies are just locking onto them straight away. Um, they are very interested. Are they going to open up all my doors and let the zombies in? Hopefully the bulk goods traders do fight them. But, uh... Oh god, yeah. Yeah, there's a bit of a large fight going on over here. Oh, this is great. This is going to give us some new stuff. Yeah, there's like loads of shotguns out here on the ground now. As they're trying to fight off the zombies. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Is that a heavy SMG? Oh, that would be good. I think one of them has a um, incendiary launcher. Okay. Okay. There are a lot of bites, so um, hopefully these guys kind of just rock up and then leave. Because if we're not too careful, they'll get infected and die. Um, oh well. This is going fine. This is going great. Oh. You know, I think they're doing a they're doing a pretty good job trying to actually fend off against the zombies. Oh my goodness. Well played. Well played, Bulk's good traders. Well played. They actually managed to survive. Well, they've still got a few more zombies to go through. But um I'm gonna have to end this stream soonish, so what we'll do before we end is we'll remove Judge Death's organs. So uh, come on, Nightkin. Uh, grab that grab those medical supplies and get to work. Um, they might be asleep, but it's fine. There we go. Was that a success? Yep, they've been neutered. Oh, God, and the fighting's busy going on out here. That's fine. Just, you know, keep fighting those zombies. As long as you don't set fire to everything. And there we go, Judge Death. Inspired creativity? <laughs> the next art item he creates will be two levels higher. That's brilliant. So, um, were you inspired by the creativity of, I don't know, installing a peg leg? Have they got a peg leg? No, oh no, they don't. Okay, they're just under anesthesia at the moment. God, these bulk goods traders. What? They are kind of sorting out my zombie problem for me. Alright, Judge Def. Actually, I'm going to... Yeah, I need you to continue doing the peg leg. So there you go. Grab your stuff. Doing the autosave. You just need to grab some wood. That's all good. Actually, now that I think about it, we should probably also have a door to the stockpile over here. That's quite good. Okay, operation is underway. That appears to be a success. Yep, they have a right leg and a left leg as peg legs. Oh, there we go. Please make the recording public afterwards. Um, I could do? Sure, okay. You know what, Alex Kairis, for you, I will. I will, just for you. And how's your mood doing? You're not very happy because you got neutered. Understandable. 
You think the hospital is dull and you have a disturbed sleep because someone woke you up to harvest your organs. Capture an unconscious zombie and remove organs. Sadly, the zombies, you physically can't even click on them. You can't even select them like most enemies. I think it's for that sole reason that you can exploit it. Anyway, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Well, bam, job done. That's been Brimworld today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a lovely time. I'm just going to actually grab a save of this. Bam, community saved. So yeah, if you've enjoyed it, please do give the stream a like, and I hope to see you with us in the next one. You can, uh, and I think if you set yourself to have notifications on, YouTube should give you a shout whenever I go live. So yeah, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you all in the next one. Have an absolutely lovely evening. Goodbye.